Let's see how we can install Git and how we can push code to GitHub. First, go to this URL here. I'll have this link in the description below. You can just click on it and now click on downloads. Here you will see the bunch of options here that support Git. Now you can click on your specific version or if you're on Windows or whatever your version is, just click on this and you'll be taken to this page. Here you'll see these options. Now you can just click on this and your latest version download will start. As you can see, the download has started. Let's wait till the download is complete. Once the download is complete, just click on open file and the Git installer will open. If you are asked, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, just click on yes. So once this pop-up comes up, just click on next. And this is where your Git will be installed by default. You can click on browse and you can choose any other location where you want to install. But I'll keep it at the default directory. Just click on next. And this is coming because I already had a Git folder. In your case, you will not see this. And here, you don't need to check anything else. Just leave these as it is. Click on next. And click next again. Click next again. Click next again. And finally, this is the last thing here. And we need to include this also. Again, click next. So these are all the additional things that are required for Git. So most probably you don't have these. So it's fine if you you know, just leave it at, at default. Okay, just leave all the things. And finally, our Git installation has started. Let's wait till this is finished and we will first, we will create our first Git repo. After the installation is complete, you'll see this. Now you can just close this, uncheck this and then click on finish. Once we have installed Git, let's see how we can push code from our local machine to GitHub. First, log into GitHub or if you don't have an account, just click on sign up. Check the link in the description. It will show you how you can sign up if you don't know how you can sign up. Now, sign in. And once you are in GitHub, we need to make a new repository where we can push our project, right? So click on this new here. Okay, so <laughs> GitHub is having issues. Let me go back again. And let's click on new again. Okay, so it worked this time. And let's give a name to your repository. You can give it your project name. So let's call it my new ROJ and this is going to be a public repository if you want you can make it private so that others cannot see it i'll just make it public for now and just click create repository okay so github is having some problems at the moment i'll try again create repository okay so what is the issue let's see if making private repository works now github is having some issues Okay, it's still not working. Let's try again. It's an odd time for GitHub to have issues. Okay, so let's go back again. Let me click on repository name, my new PROJ, just PROJ. Click on create new repository and let's hope it is created this time. Okay, finally it is created. So now once we have our repository ready, let's go to our project, right? So if you don't have a project, you can just create a new project here and let's call it new git project, right? Go inside your project. I have no file here. So just for the sake of this demo, I'll create a new file and let's call this my file.txt, right? So we have a project here. Let's say you have this project and you have multiple files here. Now we need to initialize a git repository here. So hold shift and right click and open git bash here. If you don't have Git Bash already installed, check the link in the description. It will show you how you can install Git. All right, now, as you can see, I'm inside my project folder here. If you are on Linux or Mac, you can just open terminal and go inside your Git project. Now here, first command is Git init. So what this does is, this makes this a uh, Git repository. Now, if I refresh this, as you can see, .git folder is created. Now, once we have our Git repository here, we can push from here, to here, that is to GitHub. So let's go back to our project here and just creating a repository is not enough. We need to commit our changes. That means whatever changes we have committed, those are the changes that will push to GitHub. So I say git add dot. This means that track all the files. So all the files that are in your project, changes in those files will be tracked, okay? So after adding the files, commit. That means that all the changes that are done here will be pushed after the commit is done. So we write init 
let's see first commit and now I can do git remote add origin this means that when you do the push command where should it be pushed to which repository and our repository is as you can see this repository so we do this and hit enter and now when we do the push command this is the repository to which our code will be pushed so the command is git push origin this is the origin right and to which branch do we push let's say we push to master hit enter so as you can see the push is now complete and if i go back here and reload this as you can see my file.txt is here now if i click on this it's going to be empty because we have not written anything in our file okay so this is the basic process and we will see why commit is important in just one more minute so we do git init and then we add all the files that we need to track and then we do some changes and then commit those changes and then we push those changes right so and of course where do we push we push the changes here now let's say we want to change the file and let's say i write this is new here right and i save it close this and if i push again without committing what will happen let's see it says everything is up to date because we have not yet committed so after the change is done we commit again and we say new change here and then we push again to our master branch and this time the change will be pushed as you can see it is pushed and now if i reload as you can see this is new is coming in this myfile.txt so this is how you can commit and push to github if you have any questions let me know in the comments below